Hey guys, there has been lots of requests uh, for a backbend workout. So this is going to be a full do along backbend workout for beginners. You have to understand that we have to work a lot with our shoulders and our chest. And of course our pelvic joint opening and uh, glute strength as well as core strength. So backbend for beginners, it's lots of work, but we will go through some of the basic positions which you need to master before you try to do your bridge. If you really enjoyed this video, you have a possibility to donate so I can make lots of more content for you guys to keep working out at home. So let's get started. We will warm up properly before we go to any like, deep stretching positions. So we will start with our spine in this position. Your hands are underneath your shoulders and your knees are underneath your hips. And we exhale around your back, stretch, tuck in your chin. Inhale. Now here you press your shoulder blades together. Your shoulders are away from your ears. And you're pulling the ground underneath you. You should feel that your tummy is stretching here as well. Through your tailbone, we exhale around our backs and stretch. Here you're pushing yourself away from the floor. Inhale, chin up. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, now here, tuck in, we round our backs and we go to the front, here, you open up your chest by pulling your shoulder blades together, shoulders away from your ears, we go back, back to heels, exhale, round our back, we go forward, Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Now we're going to do two more of these. Exhale. One more. We come up and we round our torso. Move your shoulder blades, your lower back. Breathe deep. And we switch. Open up, here open up your chest, exhale, round your upper back, inhale, exhale, and hands up, inhale, exhale, round, inhale, exhale. Exhale, stretch your side, look up, inhale, exhale, the other one. Now through front, to the side, and back. Full 
circles. Breathe deep. Now we switch the other side up, exhale through the front. Inhale around your back. Exhale. Exhale around your back. Inhale up like you're growing taller here in this position. Exhale around your back. Stretch. Inhale, grow tall. Cross our legs, 
Now I circle the neck a little bit. If it's not comfortable for you to do full circles, you can do smaller movement or just through the front, like this. If you do the full circles, we switch direction. And one hand behind, your pelvis is neutral. Shoulder away from the ear, it's not up, it's down, deep rest and diagonal. Now we switch. Diagonal. And through exhale. And chin up. Circle the movement. Chin to one shovel shoulder. Chin up, circle to the other. Try to make sure that you feel the stretch in your neck flexors. So you probably have to close your mouth to feel that. Good. Now let's get our body warmed up more. So shoulders, uh, hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. We go to plank, from plank, exhale, down dog. Plank and dog. Work with your breathing, keep your shoulders strong, pelvis strong. Down dog, lift up the right, tuck in, step through, and we move a little bit here. Your back is straight. If it's not, use the blocks for support to keep your back straight. Through exhale, we go deeper. You should feel comfortable in this exercise. If it's too deep, you just make little movements if your body is not ready to go deeper in your joints yet. Okay, from here, we open up side lunge, go to the center and to our knee. Open up and to our knee. One more, to the center, hands underneath your shoulders, duck, extend, lower down, correct your dog, leg up, duck, step, and we move, through exhale and go deep. Get to the center, open up, side lunge, center to your knee, side lunge, to your knee. One more. To the center, hands underneath your shoulders, your legs are two parallel lines. Tuck, step up, correct your dog. Right leg again goes up, do not open up your hip. Tuck, step. Now your both hands go to your inner knee. Correct your line. This should be looking like a plank, so your hips are not down. 
there up your shoulder and your shoulders and your tailbone is in the one line. Now we tuck in and extend. Make sure you're not moving up and down. You are bending the knee and extending the knee. And that is the only thing that it's moving here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, let's do four, three, two, one, we bend, and with the opposite leg, you open up a shoulder here, and if you can, you reach, if no, shoulder is open, and just try to bend the leg, okay? If you feel comfortable, you can try to press the heel to butt. If you feel comfortable. Good. Now we extend the front leg. Back is straight, foot is flexed. Make sure that knee is not bent here. We inhale and through exhale we go here into our hip. If it's too difficult, you just take the blocks, you will be higher, your back will be straighter. Through exhale. Okay, your foot now is parallel. We stretch here a little bit. So if it's too difficult for you to go on your elbows, you just take the blocks so you're a little bit higher or you keep your hands straight. And now try to understand. If you feel good in your hip, you can pulse your knee a little bit out. Only if you feel comfortable. If not, stay in a static position better. If yes, if you feel comfortable, you just pulse the hip out. Just make sure your foot does not collapse. Your foot goes, I mean ankle does not collapse. Your ankle moves same as the knee. Foot not collapsed, okay? Make sure it's not collapsing. And through exhale, you keep pulsing out. And we straighten our hands. Extend, lift up our knee. Knees, the front knee is between our hands. Legs are two parallel lines. We tuck. Leg goes up, down. Correct your dog. Neutral tuck. Shoulders strong. Ears are between my hands. Now I lift up the other one. Tuck in. Step. Hands goes between the knee, keep your position, and we bend and extend. Do not try to touch the floor in this exercise. Keep your pelvis engaged and your shoulders strong. Six, seven, extend to the fullest, nine, ten, four more, three, two, and one. Put our knee to the floor, open up, bend, and if you can, you reach and stretch. Three more, two, and one, foot is parallel, we go to our elbows if we can, 
and if it feels comfortable, we just pull the knee out a little bit and work with your breathing. Try not to hold your breath in any of the exercises. Extend, shoulder line rotation, 
and front. Let's do two more. Lift, rotate, back, in front, lower down, one more. Rotation to the back, lower down, and we tuck in, and we go on our belly. Okay, from here, neck is neutral, round our shoulders. Good. Now shoulders onto the floor, open up, and we stretch. Grab the other one. Now here you're not trying to reach, you're opening up in your chest as much as you can. Now we switch. Okay, we go back, 90 degree, push that shoulder closer to the ground and try to open up your knee as much as you can. Back and we switch. If you need to hold these positions longer, feel free to do that. Now from here, you have to do your side. We tuck in our pelvis. The tucking in looks like this here. Like you're trying to squeeze something with your butt and your pelvis is tucking in and it's engaged and the butt, the glutes are engaged as well. So you have to tuck in here like this. Keep your hands to the floor and lift up one. Straight legs two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We lift up, we bend, extend, and back. Lift, bend, extend, back, and three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Good, relax a little back for a bit here. Now from here, we lift up, flex our feet, tuck in, we're squeezing, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lower it down. From here, we cross. We go into our child's pose, rest a little bit here, relax our lower back, curl up, and we go to seating position, and from seating position, we go into our backs, 90 degree position with your legs, tuck in, so your tailbone is into the floor, and now we lower down, 90 degree position. Now here I suggest to put a block between your knees so you can uh, hold that hip wide position. Now we go here and lower down, up on the second one, lift our butt. Lower down, butt up again, rounding our backs, engage, lift, one. And then in the second, if you go to the floor, lift up, push up, engage your glutes, engage your legs, your core, lower down, around in your back, 
lift one and to the second it goes down up engage and hold down rounding your back 90 degrees lift one and on the second then go down exhale down Lift up. And let's do one more. And lift up. Round your back and down. Now from here, take the block away if you've had it. Extend our right foot. The other one stays more or less underneath our knee. And we go up one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lower down and we switch. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Bend our knees, come up, cross our legs, and from here, hands underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips, and we're going to try to do the chaturanga with five counts down. Now remember, you can always do your chaturanga on your knees. Engage your pelvis and shift weight forward here. Five pounds down, pause, and three exhale, one pound up. Okay, I will show you on the knees first. So we go one, keep your elbows, shoulder line and close. Two, three, four, five, exhale. Up and one, two, three, four, five, hold, exhale. Up and one, two, three, four, five, exhale. Up and the last one, one, two, three, four, five, exhale. Up. Now in this position, inhale. And goes through, exhale, look up. Back. The other one, inhale, exhale, goes through, look up. Make you round our spine a little bit, circle. The other direction. You should feel warm. If you do not feel warm enough, you can always press pause and do uh, uh, some of these exercises in more repetitions or add some of your own, alright? From here, we cross our legs again. We go to our seating position and on our backs. Now we're going to hold the hollow body position. Engage your core, keep your knees bent, hands shoulder wide up, lift and we hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, tuck, inhale, relax, exhale, and we go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more, inhale, exhale, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come up, cross your legs. We go into a plank, shoot weight down in our chaturanga, 
hold, lower down, good. From here, shoulders underneath your elbows underneath your shoulders. We tuck in, we engage, shoulders away from your ears, and we extend one. If it's too difficult, put your hands a little bit further. Your elbows are closed, shoulder wide, two, three, four, five, six, glutes are strong, seven, eight, now we bend one, extend, two, three, four, five, shoulders away from your ears and your shoulder blades are pulling together. You try to look back with your hand where to see where it goes, okay? Up. We go down, again you rest a little bit, and lower back. Now from here, again shoulders, uh, elbows underneath your shoulders, tuck in and engage, extend if you can. And we bend, we reach, and we stretch if you can. Shoulders strong, core engaged. Relax, you can go down on your elbows, come up. Probably we will not be able to. 
So your hands go underneath your shoulders, shoulders away from your ears, and you're pulling your shoulder blades together like this. And before you lift up your chest, you have to already engage the pulling underneath movement. You're pulling the ground underneath before you start to lift up the chest already. Before that, you have to tuck in and engage. Okay, remember the squeezing position. You squeeze your glutes and you're tucking in. Okay, shoulders underneath, elbows closed, shoulders away from your ears. Yes, shoulder blades together. I am engaged and I'm starting to pull. And here you lift up in your cobble. Now, you are lifting up through exhale. And you have to understand which position for you is the hardest one where you, but still you can breathe it. If you feel like you cannot breathe, you went too deep. You have to go lower. Now baby cobra is with bent arms. You just pull here. Okay, you do not have to extend. I am not extending to my fullest because I feel too much of a compression in my lower back if I extend to the, to the fullest. My chest is not that open to feel safe enough in this position. So I keep my hands a little bit bent and I'm still doing the same movement. I'm pulling underneath, opening my chest and I feel the opening. And I'm breathing in. And lower down. Relax. From here, we go to our child's pose. From our child's pose, hands to your sides. Through exhale, we roll up. Now our next pose, which is really important as well, is the camel pose. Before we will go to this pose, we will strengthen our legs. This is a basic exercise, but I really love it because it strengthens your deep muscles in your legs, in your quads. So here, the neutral tuck is needed. Neutral tuck looks, when you put your hands over here, like this, when you are over tucking, you see that my hands are facing out. And when you are not tucking and bending, my hands are facing in. So your hands should be in a straight line, so you can see, here straight line, okay? So you can see that you have engaged neutral tuck. Neutral tuck should feel something in the middle of this and this. Neutral is in the middle of these two extreme positions, okay? Now I tuck in neutrally. My glutes are engaged as well. Not over tuck, squeeze, but neutral engage, okay? So, and my leg and hands are strong, and your task here is to keep this line, keep your hands in front, and keep this line and move as low as you can, but not bending your lower back. Your legs are strong. Four. Five. Shoulders away from the ears and elbows together. 
Now this is an amazing pose for you to understand before you go into your wheel pose. You have to squeeze your glutes and push your hips forward. You have to work with this part of the body as much as your shoulders and everything else. So this position is really important before you start going into your wheel pose. If you do not understand and are, if you're not able to do this, you're not able or you're not ready to go in your wheel pose. So if this is too easy, you can try to go to the next level and touch your legs here, reach your legs here, and push your hips forward. If it feels good and you do not feel too much of a compression in your lower back, you can reach your heels. Now with a camel pose, what is really important that your hips do not go away from your knees. Your hips should be in the line of their knees or even more forward. So that's why we have different levels of this pose for you to be able to push your hips further than your knees to understand the pushing. If you are going here and you're not opening your shoulders and you cannot open your chest, you are not able to push forward and your camel pose will look like this. And you are not doing the most important thing what we have to do in this pose. So that's why you go into a baby camel if it feels like this, alright? So on the third level, you go to your heels. And from here, you push forward, opening up your chest. Now here, I do not suggest you to let your neck fall here. Keep your neck naturally engaged so it does not fall back. And you still have to breathe. Remember, if you cannot breathe in some of the positions, you went too deep. deep. You have to be able to breathe, all right? Now from here we go down and we will compensate this position a little bit. Keep your hands on your heels, you round your back, you tuck in your chin and we will go on this part of our head. We will go into a rabbit pose here. And your butt goes up and we stretch here. This should feel really comfortable, especially if you were really, really working hard in your camel pose. This pose will help you to balance it out. Okay, child's pose and roll up. Now we will go into our shoulders, so we will try the puppy pose. Before we go into our puppy pose, we will stretch our shoulders. You can put your blocks like this, or you can put them lower as you wish. To make a deeper stretch, I put them higher. So I put one elbow into the block, my knees are underneath my hips, and I engage my pelvis neutrally so I do not bend my lower back. And I go here in my shoulder. You can stretch isolated one by one, or you can stretch them both at the same so, here, my head goes through and we are stretching our shoulders and you can put your hands between your shoulder blades. Keep your pelvis neutral. And after this, we will go into our puppy pose. So, your knees are underneath your hips, we go on our fingertips, pulling our shoulder blades together. Neutral tuck, do not bend in your lower back, and we try to go deeper in your shoulder. And if it feels comfortable, you can go on your chest. And when you go on your chest, you can go on your full hands. And from here, if you want to go deeper, you can go into your extended puppy. Only then, if you have engaged your upper back properly. 
pulling your shoulder blades together, shoulders away from your ears. And you have to be able to breathe in this position as well, but not even too deep. And you can always stretch your puppy on the blocks here. This will be a little bit easier if you cannot go into your shoulders. Try to hold these positions 30 to 30 seconds to one minute. And the next exercise we will get you warmed up for your wheel pose. We go into our bridge like this. Your heels are underneath your knees. And from here, you round back, switch. You go up. You can go here if you want to make it more difficult. You try to go into your bridge. Or you can go just here, stretch here, or move closer to your bridge. And back, switch. Push from your glutes, squeeze your glutes, push your hips up, your shoulders are strong, go up, here, down, switch, up, here, down, switch. Good. Now after this one, we have to stretch our pelvic joint, our legs, because we're going to need them in our bridge pose. So you can keep, put something underneath your knee if it feels uncomfortable. We tuck in, neutral tuck to engage. Okay, neutral tuck. Open up your chest, shoulders up, inhale, and we stretch here. And from here, we bend one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, reach and stretch. And we switch the other leg. Go on a deep lunge. Inhale, hands up. Open up your chest. Bend and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We reach. And stretch. So these are the main and most important exercises and positions which are needed to be done before you try your wheel pose. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We did not go through the exact wheel pose so, or the bridge pose but we did everything that's needed to be done before we even try our bridge slash wheel pose and if you like this video make sure you press like to this video feel free to comment to write requests and to write your feedback because i read all the comments